Oh wow, look at this guys. This is actually really cool. This is uh let's see what we have here. This is actually a scaleless Texas rat. And let me show you here. These are actually scaleless Texas rats, but when they hatch out, a lot of times they just have, they get, because they're scaleless, they get all goopy because of the, uh, the vermiculite six jump. So we're gonna have to get these in water, kind of clean them up and get them set up. But also we have these guys over here, which are actually uh, Max Max or Granite Max Max. You can see this is a Granite Max Max here. So that's pretty awesome. So that's a great clutch. So those are two really, look at all the little babies. So it's Sunday, which uh, is the day that's kind of my most mellow day at the shop, to be honest with you. Uh, I try to do my best to kind of get in and get out of here when I'm in town on Sunday, because it's really the only day of the week that I get to get some downtime. So uh, today I'm just gonna go through, I've gotta check everything to make sure everything's okay. I think I'm gonna check some eggs, because colubrid eggs should be hatching anytime. So let's go take a look and see what we have back here today. And uh, and again, you know, we've got uh, colubrid eggs uh, kind of you know, we just put them up on the shelf and uh, and it's about 82 degrees here So we don't need to really incubate them. So these are colubrid eggs and then there's more colubrid eggs And then there's more colubrid eggs over there. So uh, we're just gonna pull some boxes down It's about time for them to hatch uh, so far nothing is hatched So uh, literally, you know, I've been hatching pythons and of course producing a bunch of uh, live Babies like uh, garter snakes and rainbows and all that stuff But uh, let's see if we have some baby colubrids because uh, like I said any day they should be hatching so if if I find some, you guys will share the moment with me. So nothing so far in this stack, but to be honest with you, the eggs are a little bit out of order because I shuffled things around. So these actually were laid probably a week and a half, two weeks in. So we'll eventually get to the eggs that should be first hatched. So, uh, but I'm just gonna go through them all and see what we get. See the little head right there? You guys see the little head right there popping out? That. That's a little baby colubrid. Now, this clutch was actually the 17th clutch laid, so that tells me that there's potential for, you know, 16 other clutches that might be pipped. But every now and then, you actually do see, um, an, an animal that just hatches a little bit early, maybe just pops out a little bit early. So this is actually an iridescent cal uh, bred to another iridescent cal king. So so these are uh, the iridescents, which are basically the albino ghost cal kings, or, or not totally albino ghost cal kings, because there's actual true albino ghost cows, and then the iridescents that come from albino ghost cows. So it's a little bit of a confusing gene, but uh, that's pretty cute, look at that. Oh, there's actually a few heads. I thought there was only one. There's actually, oh, you can see this one just Slit. There's one, two, three. Oh, wait a second. This one's already out. Hang on a second, guys. So there's already a snake out. Oh, there it is. There's that little guy right there. Look at him. Look at how cute. So that is the first baby colubrid that I've come across. So let's keep checking because when there's one baby, there's probably going to be a whole bunch more. That is exciting. Oh wow, look at this guys. This is actually really cool. This is uh, let's see what we have here. This is actually a scaleless Texas rat. And let me show you here. These are actually scaleless Texas rats, but when they hatch out a lot of times, they just have, they get, because they're scaleless, they get all goopy because of the uh, the vermiculite six jump. So we're gonna have to get these in water, kind of clean them up and get them set up. But also we have these guys over here, which are actually uh, Max Max or Granite Max Max. You can see this is a Granite Max Max here. So that's pretty awesome. So that's a great clutch. So those are two really, look at all the little babies. Uh oh, I better set the camera down because things are about to get crazy. Oh my gosh, snakes everywhere. Oh my gosh, I'm in trouble. Oh my gosh, scramble time, scramble time. Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm 
we doing here? Uh. Whew, that was tough, man. I gotta make sure there's, there's no snakes out loose anywhere because those snakes are just kind of going crazy. So I'm gonna set, because this whole clutch is hatch, I'm gonna set this aside right now and just uh, hang on to those guys. So let's see what else we've got. Oh, there's some more babies. Oh yeah, it's starting to happen now. These are all just Puebloan milk snakes. That's awesome, huh? Yeah, baby season is upon us. Let's see, we should have some more here. Yep, look at, there we go. And you can see these guys are all hatched out. So these have just hatched within the last, you know, couple days, because uh, I checked them here just two days ago. And so, uh, so this clutch is all hatched out. We'll set this aside just like we did the other one. Let's see what else we got. This one should be because it's in the same time frame too. You can see, yep, you can see some babies over here. Yep, there they are. Look at. And you can see there's still a little baby hatching right here because you can see the little bubbles. You can see the little bubble there. So that's not quite ready, but it's pretty close. So uh tis the season. It's starting to go. Let's see if we have anything here. Nope, nothing here yet. Okay. And how about this one here? Huh, there it is. Look at those, those are our little baby Mexican black king snakes. Take a look at that. So these are the little solid black snakes. Yeah, so when these guys get uh, you know, a shed or two into them, they're gonna just be solid jet black. Wow, now that's cool. So again, that's a nice big old clutch. This clutch hasn't hatched yet, but this clutch is completely hatched. So we'll go ahead and set that group up. So. Uh, Wow, that's pretty cool. I think we'll have maybe a couple more clutches that we might be able to find that are kind of in the first 16, and then everything else obviously is not hatching. But uh, hey, what a great way to start the season. Oh guys, take a look at this. This is pretty awesome. I was pretty excited about this, but can you see that right there? Oh, I don't know if I can show you. Here, I'll pick them up. These are actually little baby hog nose snakes. Look at how cute. So this is the first clutch of hoggies that I produced this year. Look at how cute those are, huh? Now those things are adorable, aren't they? That's so awesome. So yeah, so it looks like we've got just a handful. There's about six or seven little baby hog nose in here. And these guys typically hatch a little bit quicker than other snakes, but uh, Wow, that's cool. So we'll get those guys set up too. This is a really, this is really early for this one. This clutch was uh, clutch 40. And like you said, we can, we're hatching only clutch 16 of the other cluberts. So the other eggs don't seem to be pipping. So it's just one little baby here. So we'll see what else is uh, gonna hatch from this clutch, but uh, not quite ready yet. These guys will probably hatch out here in the next couple weeks or not, not week, probably week, week and a half or so. One of the things we've been really trying to do lately is take a little break in the afternoon. You know, we work so hard, so, uh, you know, usually lunchtime a little bit later, me and Lori a lot of times will take off and just find a cool place to sit down and chat or uh, go for a nature hike or something like that. Even one time we went to see, we went paddle boarding, right? Yep. <laughs> She's always got so many words. So uh, we're gonna just uh, head down the road here to a nice little river area, squat down, and uh, hang out for a little bit. So, there's a lot going on, but I kinda wanted to really you know, talk to you a little bit about, and I want you to be honest about how you feel about this daily vlog.
way. <laughs> I just, I think, I'm really honest about it, I, I mean this sincerely, not just because we're filming this, but like, I don't want it to affect us, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want, you know, we to be good with it, because if you're not good with it, then, you know, I'm okay with not doing it. No, I mean, I think, I think we can give it a shot. Just knowing that there's going to be some days where I'm going to be saying, <laughs> Those might be the best days to film you. Exactly. Which is why I say no. Do you think Noah's going to be alright now? Guys, we're having this serious talk, and I look over, and Lori, of course, is catching a magic carp. So we have to stop everything and make sure to pick those up because you cannot get enough magic carp, just so you know. 